What's up, Tech Life Forum? Uh, I recorded a video um, coding this as I went along, but it just took too long. So instead of doing it that way, I'm going to go over this demo project and show you how to implement this IRC client class yourself. The first thing you need to do is add a reference to the DLL. I've already done this, um, but you'll need to do that in order to have access to it. And then next thing you'll do is you want to import this Tech Life Forum namespace so you have access to this IRC client. Um, so then you want to dim that with events so you have access to the events as well that the client sends off. First thing, uh, when this button connect is clicked, you want to set a new instance of the IRC client, and it only takes the one, um, the two par parameters here. You get your server string and your port as an integer you'll set the client nick and then add some multi-threading here so the form doesn't hang up when the, the uh, client is listening for server um, messages and all that good junk so we'll make a new thread address of start client.connect so all the client workings are do, being done on this separate thread and not your main thread which is how it should be and then it's pretty much it. Once that's connected, it'll connect to it, and then your button sent here. It'll send the messages. Um, just a quick example of that. Um, I got two event listeners, pretty much. Uh, you got your channel message and your update users. Um, there's more events, but those are the only two examples I provided. Here's all the the events that you have at your disposal. Um, what channel message does is whenever there's a message to the main channel um, It'll trigger this event and it sends it by user and message and the reason I have this invoke required is because if you remember that thread or These the client is working on a separate thread and not the same thread as what your GUI is um, So you can't modify any of these properties without first invoking it and that's what this delegates for if you need help on any of that stuff, make a comment on the thread and I'll go through that. But pretty much it's saying the first time it's it's going to come, it's going to tell you that invoke is required. And it's going to invoke this delegate, which is an address of this sub. And it's going to send the user and message as parameters. And then once it goes through that, if invoke is not required then, which it won't be the second runaround, go will append the text, scroll to correct and or Cray or whatever the hell however the hell you say it and then that'll be the end of that then your update users it gives you a users list as a string array and pretty much the same thing you'll notice here I found a bug while doing this um, so this will have to be um, I guess in my next release but it seemed to have fired it twice and I'm not sure why it's it's not actually firing twice it's just it's sending both it's sending the list twice so I don't I'm not sure what that is but this quick workaround is what um is how you're gonna get around that pretty much what this says is if the username is not in the list add it if it already is don't worry about it so that's about it we're gonna show you a quick example and be done with this uh, hit hit connect here. Uh, you see testing is joined. Hey, it says hi. What's up? Hit send. And that's the basic of it. Uh, that's your VV example. And any questions? Post them on the thread. Thanks.